Kiev sent one of the best equipped brigades, the 80th Airborne Assault Brigade, to the Kursk region. It was assigned the function of tough and fast attacks on enemy positions. The day before, a video could be seen on the internet showing tanks, armoured personnel carriers, sapper and engineering vehicles among the ranks of the Ukrainian armed forces. From the video, it is worth concluding that this is one of the first attacks by the Ukrainian armed forces which was carried out on the positions of the Russian armed forces on August the 6th, Forbes reports. One should not forget about the presence of American striker armoured vehicles in the ranks of the advancing forces, which are mainly in service with the 80th Brigade. Before the recent events, Kiev had already carried out raids deep into Russian territory, but they involved a small number of fighters. The new military operation is distinguished by the fact that at least three brigades, with a total of up to 6,000 servicemen, are participating in it. We are talking about the 22nd, 80th and 88th Brigades. Experts say this is no longer a raid, but a real invasion. At the same time, the Ukrainian armed forces may in the future be confronted with the North Group, numbering up to 50,000 Russian military personnel. However, now the occupiers from North are taking part in the battles in the Kharkiv region. The Ukrainian armed forces deliberately struck the area where the North Group was small in number. The source writes that if the enemy manages to quickly transfer the occupiers from the Kharkiv region to the Kursk region, they can push the Ukrainian armed forces out of their territory. However, if the enemy slows down, the Ukrainian armed forces will advance further. The surprise assault on Kursk, about 330 miles south of Moscow, seemed designed to bring the war home to Russia, where many do not feel any direct impact of a conflict that has destroyed many Ukrainian cities and towns and displaced millions. It also may be intended to divert Russian troops from other locations along the front, where Ukrainians' military has steadily lost ground in recent months. Analysts suggested Kyiv could be trying to gain leverage for any future negotiations with the Kremlin. While the precise objective of Ukraine's incursion is unclear, in addition to potentially diverting Russian troops from Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region, Kyiv could be trying to gain leverage in future negotiations, analysts said. At the Russian airfield Lipetsk, two hit by Ukrainian drones, warehouses containing more than 700 guided aerial bombs are detonated. Informed sources told Union Correspondent about this. In particular, last night the Security Service of Ukraine in cooperation with the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the Special Operations Forces carried out an explosive strike on the Russian military airfield Lipetsk II. According to sources, the airfield housed several dozen fighter jets, helicopters, and warehouses where more than 700 guided bombs were stored. At the same time, after the Ukrainian drone strike, a powerful explosion occurred, which caused a chain detonation and a large-scale fire on a significant part of the airfield. Local authorities confirmed the fact of the detonation and announced the evacuation of residents of nearby settlements. As sources note, most of the aircraft stationed at the Lipetsk, two military airfield did not manage to take off. The Security Service of Ukraine, in cooperation with the Defense Forces, continues methodical work to destroy Russian aviation logistics so that the enemy does not have the opportunity to bomb Ukrainian cities with KABs. In early August, we cleared the Morozovsk airfield of KABs and fighters, and today it is Lipetsk 2's turn. We continue working, said an informed source in the security service of Ukraine. Airport. 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 Airport.